hallelujah. Or I want to talk about your primary source of salvation, your primary assurance of salvation. What is the primary assurance of salvation? Well, Ephesians 1, 13, 2 Corinthians 1, 22, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 5, all say the Holy Spirit. Hebrews chapter 11, one of the latter verses, 36, 37, says they did all these things, all the, those Hebrews, Hall of Fame of Faith people, they did all those exploits having not received the promise. The promise was the Holy Spirit. In Acts chapter 1, verse 8, Jesus said, uh, when the Holy Ghost comes up on you, you shall receive power. And he's talking about the promise. The Holy Spirit is the promise. He's your primary assurance of salvation. And then along with this assurance of salvation, there's an initial manifestation. So just hear me clearly. The initial manifestation of receiving the Holy Spirit is speaking in other tongues. In Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 4, when Holy Spirit was poured out, they all spoke in tongues. And I know the gift of tongues went into operation. However, you go to Acts chapter 8, the, uh, they sent for Peter because the people in Samaria had only been had baptized in the name of the Lord, but they had not been filled with the Holy Ghost with evidence of speaking in other tongues. And then in Acts chapter 10, around verse 45, 44 through 46, Peter was preaching to a bunch of Gentiles and the Holy Spirit fell. And they knew Holy Spirit had fell because people were speaking in other tongues. So that's the initial manifestation. Acts chapter 19. I'm just giving you scripture support. Acts chapter 19. The apostle Paul asked some of John's disciples, uh, what did, you, did you guys receive the Holy Spirit? They say, we don't know if there was a Holy Spirit. And then Paul laid hands on them and they began to speak with other tongues. The initial manifestation all right, of receiving Holy Spirit is speaking in other tongues. Now, do you need a manifestation in order to be saved? No. No, you don't. But it sure is nice to have a manifestation to have assurance of your salvation and that nobody can trip you up when you have a manifestation. Without a manifestation, you're just believing. You're just believing. You're just believing in the blood. Nothing wrong with that. You're believing in the cross and the word. Nothing wrong with that. But what's, but what's wrong with having a manifestation? When you're filled with the Holy Ghost and speak with other tongues. And every time throughout the canon, when they were filled with the Holy Ghost, they spoke in other tongues. Now, of course, in Acts chapter 4, the, the disciples got filled again. Because, man, throughout the course of the day, the highways, the children, the work, the job, all kinds of things can drain you and deplete you. That's why David said, my cup runneth over, man. You need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. You know, and constantly refill. Ephesians chapter 5 says, be filled with the Holy Spirit and don't be drunk with wine. So be filled again and again and again and pray up. Be built, build yourself up on your most holy faith by praying in the Holy Ghost. With the primary assurance of salvation is the Holy Spirit. He's the promise of God. And then there's an initial manifestation, all right, of receiving Holy Spirit, which is speaking in other tongues. So that's the assurance. You want to be assured because sometimes in churches, they have a call for assurance of salvation. And I wonder what happened. Did they not believe when they said they believed three years ago or last Easter or whenever it was they came to church? You, man, you know, what's a call for assurance? They, if you need an assurance of your salvation, you weren't saved because you doubted. it. You know, if, are you tripping, wondering because you sinned last week that you lost it or something? No, man. But you have, a, you have an initial manifestation, which is speaking in other tongues. When you receive Holy Spirit, you don't have to doubt anymore. Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, all right. Click subscribe to this BFABP.com on YouTube. Like me on Facebook, BFABP as well. Check out my website, AnthonyBlackmanMinistries.com. There are items available in my bookstore. I got events coming up throughout the course of the year. There are various events. And anyway, I just praise God for all my subscribers. I lift you up. I cover you on a daily basis. God is good. He's awesome. He's wonderful. In Jesus' name, have the best day of your life.